こんにちは。This is Maggie and this is Hillary. Welcome to Sakura Roll. Roll one. Yeah.、Yes. So on this podcast, we are going to talk about Japanese culture from a Japanese and American perspective. We will roll through Japanese culture and discuss what we think about this unique lifestyle we have here in Japan. So, Hillary, what、yes. are we going to talk about today? Today, we're going to talk about April. April.、Yes. <laughs> Why April? Well, April, I think it's, there's a lot of difference、mm-hmm. of the image of April in、mm-hmm. Japan and America.、Mm-hmm. So, today, I hope we will talk about that. April. Yes. So, starting with the feeling of April, what,、yes. what comes into your mind when you hear the word April? Well, because I lived in Japan for a long time,、mm-hmm. I think April、mm-hmm. is a new year,、mm-hmm. more、yep. than the New Year's Eve. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, that's my image for so April. So、yeah. it's like a fresh new start or、yes. like a beginning kind of image. Yes. So when I was in the States, when、mm-hmm. I heard April, April was all about like April Fool's Day、mm-hmm. or uh, yeah, Easter yeah. and all this, you know, cute little colors.、Mm-hmm. And, Bunnies and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, when I came to Japan, it was totally different. It was like a new start、yeah. kind of month. So yeah, we're going to talk about that today.、Yes. So、um, in Japan, April is the beginning of the school year. Yeah. And the start of the company's physical year. That's so strange, right? Yeah. But, <laughs> but I lived in Japan, so I don't、uh-huh. feel really strange、oh, about it. Really? But. Since I was in an international school,、mm-hmm. in elementary school,、mm-hmm. at that time the school started at September. Oh, oh, so the international school starts in September, yes, even though you're in Japan? Yeah. Yes. Wow. So at that time I felt really strange. Uh huh, uh huh. It was like the summer was the new start.、Uh, so when you went to international school, did you still have summer break? Yes, we did. Okay. For a long time. <laughs> <laughs> like about three months yes, or so, right? Yes. Oh, so when I was in the States,、mm-hmm. the school began in September and the company started the business year in January. But in, in January. Japan, students graduate in March and start their new school year in April. Yes. Yeah. And I did a little research on why. Oh, really? Yeah,、yes. in April. It, mm-hmm. it might not be that kind of interesting, but can I, can I read it? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the fiscal year was established in the Meiji period. That was about like 1886, from April to March, and、mm-hmm. schools seem to have adapted accordingly. And it is said that the reason why the fiscal year is in April has something to do with the Japanese agriculture, like the rice farming, or that it was、oh. modeled after the British at that time, but it is not certain. And the calendar year may begin in January, but Japan's real new year b e g i n in April, just like、Ooh. Hillary said. From the agriculture. I know. We have to go back to the agricultural. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, I didn't study in,、uh-huh. Jap- like, in the Japanese way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've never studied the Japanese agriculture. Me either. <laughs> I have no idea what Meiji period is. I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, how do you feel? What is your opinion on beginning a new year in April? Well, I, because. I lived in Japan.、Mm-hmm. As I said,、mm-hmm. I don't feel really strange about it. Because,、mm-hmm. like, all my friends started at April.、Mm-hmm. But well, what I feel really strange is that in America,、mm-hmm. there's a long summer break. I know. And there's I miss no、that. homework. I know. But in Japan, <laughs>、um, if you're going to be the first grader,、uh-huh. there's no homework,、yeah. I think.、Uh-huh. But. Um, if you're going to be in second grade, third grade, you、uh-huh. will have a homework in the、I、spring、know. break. So I f- felt really strange about it. And they, they give us too much. Yeah, there's a <laughs> lot. What's a break? I know. What's the <laughs>、yeah. point? Yeah. That's what I felt really yeah. strange. Yeah. So for me,、um, to be honest,、mm-hmm. As long as things work out well、mm-hmm. in this world,、yeah. either way is okay for me. But、um, I actually like 
this feeling of this April here in Japan because mm -hmm. um, whenever you look at the cherry blossoms and you know the color, the weather, mm -hmm. it feels like you know a time changing moment. I oh. feel like the cherry blossoms. Are like a little switch for us here in Japan. Oh, maybe, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's too. like an on and off switch mm -hmm. for us. Did, did you start something new in April? Um, well, I always um, start a diet <laughs> <laughs> in April. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and last year it went well. Yeah. It but did. I ate too much uh -huh. this winter. <laughs> <laughs> So I think I'm going to start again. You you had to do a diet on your show, right? Last year was was that last year or no? It wasn't oh. a sh there was no show. Oh, but you didn't have a show. I just wanted to go um, on a diet. Yeah, go on a diet for <laughs> summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this year again, I'm going to do it. Again. So what what's your goal? Like how how many weight do you want to? Um, lift? about minus six. Six, six maybe. Really. Yeah. I gained, Until summer. Yes, I gained too much weight <laughs> last year. Even though yeah. I, I, um, <laughs> I've got. I think I lost about ten kilograms last year. Really? But it came back. I, so I didn't notice that. Yeah, because it was before I came. Oh, you came here. Yeah. Oh. So. Yes. So you already you had already gained weight. When you came here, yes. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yesterday yeah. I saw I heard one of your staff on your mm -hmm. show yeah. say like, "Hillary, your face is big today." <laughs> yeah. Was that yesterday? Yes, it was yesterday. <laughs> I, I was like, "How rude!" <laughs> yeah, so, Hillary is gonna go on a diet. So yes, yeah, you might want diet. to check that out as yes. well. <laughs> Please. Okay, now moving on to this week's Japabulary. Yay. On this segment, we will teach you real authentic Japanese phrases that you can't find on textbooks. So this week's Japabulary is... Maji. Maji. Yes. Maji also has two meanings. First, it means really as in very. And what as in you're surprised or shocked. So it depends on how you say it. Now, here is an example. First, really. Today was a tough day. We had five exams. Maji tsukareta. Maji tired. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's weird when you have to mix Japanese and English. In yeah, a I thought so too. <laughs> <laughs> Next is an example for what? I broke up with my boyfriend today. Maji. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way yeah. you say it. <laughs> Maji. <Thank> you. Really? <laughs> yes. What? So in my generation, mm -hmm. we say maji, but yes. in Hillary's generation, she says ma. <laughs> Only ma. ma. <laughs> Where did the G go? Yeah, I don't know why, but like in my generation, yeah, everyone wants to Eliminate. shorten, yeah, yeah. The, the word, word. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you know, in the future, I might just call you he. It's so short. And you might call me ma. ma. <laughs> As in maji. Ma. Yeah. Ma. Zehi. Skatte wite kudasai. So it's time to roll out here. But before we do, we want to thank all the Sakuras for listening to our podcast. Thank Please you. leave us a comment or a review. And we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye, Jia. Ja.